captivate sex, you can now add cool text effects to the text and text captions, buttons and smart shapes. Let's see how we can do this. So here's a course uh, in Captivate and I've added a text caption where I have added the uh, course title. Very easy to add uh, the text effects. All you have to do is under character accordion, there is this big T button. Just click it and you will get these options to, uh, you know, add text effects. So if you want this type of an effect, just select it. You want this type of an effect, select it. So these are the canned uh, uh, text effects that are already available for you. And if you want to modify some of these effects, so suppose you like this one, but you want to do a slight change in it, just select this effect and then click edit. Once you click edit, you get this dialogue where you can go and modify uh, the effect. And the best part about this dialogue is that as soon as you make changes, you can see it in real time on stage. So you can find out what changes you are doing and then you can go and modify it and maybe Let's add a few more effects to see how it works. So let's let's do something revolutionary here. So here uh, we have uh, made all these changes and we, we kind of like it and we want to apply it to any other uh, slide as well. So what you can do is you can save it and this effect will be saved as one of the uh, custom effects that you have just created. Also, there's another way of adding a custom effect. You can just go and click the plus sign and then modify what you want to modify in this effect. So suppose, let me just uh, remove all the effects from here and have plain text. So I'm adding a drop shadow, then I'm adding an inner shadow and let me change the color to maybe uh, a blue. So here's, oh, doesn't look kind of good. Let me just make it this, okay. So we've made these changes and now when we save it, this will also be saved as one of the custom effects. You can easily remove all these custom effects as well. So if you like this and you want to remove this one, just select the effect and hit delete. Once you hit delete, that effect will be gone. So let's uh, apply another effect here. I'll apply this one and now when you want to apply uh, this new custom effect that you've created to any other slide just go and select the text on which you want to apply the effect and then go and hit the custom effect that you just created. Now let's see how we can apply a uh, text effect to text in a smart shape. So let's add a smart shape here. I'll add an oval and then I will double click it and add some text. Text in a smart shape. Uh, let's select the text and increase the size to say a 35 point so that the effect is visible. I will increase its size here and now let's add an effect here. So uh, let me go to T and here is one effect that I can apply or I can go and apply some other effect to it. So you can easily add an effect in Smart Shape. Let's add a button as well and see how the effects work there. Here's the button. Let's increase its size and increase and increase the text, the font size as well. So here's my uh, text and I will go to T and here I can easily apply any effect that I want to the text in the button as well. Here's just uh, one thing of caution uh, that when you're using text effects, uh, do not apply text effects uh, in a text caption when you're using a variable because uh, uh, text effects don't work when you uh, when the text changes on runtime and with variables, the text does change in runtime. So if you have a variable somewhere in the text caption where you've applied the uh, text effect, the effect will not be visible when you are reviewing or publishing the course. So make sure that the text caption or the smart shape where you're adding a, a text effect does not have a variable included in it. Thanks for watching this tutorial.